In this video tutorial, you'll learn how to create basic smoke animation in Adobe Photoshop CC. Hi, we meet again at my video we will learn about how to create basic smoke animation. Open your photo in Photoshop, here, I give some gradient adjustment, you can skip this step, because it's just a variation only. Make sure, you've been already download smoke brush inside Photoshop for smoke brushes, you can find it at brusheasy.com or other webs. Oak, create new group folder, I give a name smoke base or you can give with any name. Create a new blank layer into this folder. And I'll give name with smoke 1. Grab your brush tool, and make sure you select a smoke brush. Oops, I'll change the smoke 1 to smoke 1 big. and set the foreground color to white. Then click your brush into this layer. Right click on smoke one big, and select convert to smart object. Create a new blank layer again. And I give a name with smoke too big, select brush tool again, and right click then select another smoke brush and brush preset, because we need a different shape to create a dynamic smoke animation. Feels free to play around with brush size. If you feel the new one is nice, convert the layer into smart object. Remember convert to smart object on each smoke layer. To make easier to manage, group these layer into another folder group, and give with any name. Now, I'll create a new blank layer again, to create another smoke brush with different shape remember, we need a different smoke brush shape, because we need to create dynamic animation fields. Select the brush tool again, and select different smoke brush in your brush preset. Don't be shy when you play around with this, just try again and again to find best brush shape for your need. Even if you make a mistake, Donald Trump will not kill you right. Brush, brush, and keep brushing. When you find a nice shape and size, you can adjust the rotation and etc. Again and again, convert the layer into smart object when your brush is fixed. Repeat the earlier step to create a new blank layer, and give different smoke brush shape, and convert the layer into smart object. If your smoke brush quite transparent, you can duplicate into a few layer until you get nice and clear smoke. Select those smoke layers and merge them into one layer by pressing Ctrl or Command plus E. Resize it, rotating it until you find a nice composition. Make sure, convert smoke layer into smart object first, then you can resize the smoke brush into smaller or bigger size. and find best and nice position for your smokes brushes.
When finished to find a nice position and size for the small brush layer, select them and create a group again for a different brush layer for easier to manage. Here I have smaller brush group folder and the other group folder is for bigger smoke brush and we will animate them all later. And now click on Windows menu and select Timeline to open Timeline Editor. In the timeline below, we will find the same layer layout as at the layer box at the right. So the animation is not too long, I will make the duration to 3 seconds only. You can select the end of each layer at the timeline, add slide it into the duration you want and repeat this step for all layers. After that, we are ready to give keyframe on each layer to create an interesting animation. You are free to choose any smoke layer, here, I'll give keyframes on big smoke layers, as usual, position the scrubber at the beginning of the timeline. And click once time on transform icon to give one keyframe at first scene, then slide the scrubber position to the next second, after that set the smoke brush size becomes larger. Repeat continuously for every minute thereafter. Remember, here you can not only do the size changes, but you can also change the shape using the warp tool, or whatever you like. In essence, keep experimenting as freely as possible. Calm down, Donald Trump will not put you in jail if you make a mistake. After you finish giving the keyframe and set its properties on each keyframe, do a preview to see the results of the animation. When the result is not satisfactory, fix the smoke brush property on each keyframe, or if necessary, delete all existing keyframes and repeat the keyframing process, and if the animation is good and satisfying by Donald Trump, you can switch to another smoke brush layer to add keyframes. Remember, you also can play with opacity on the keyframe, just play around until Donald Trump loves you. When the animation is appropriate and satisfying, we can switch to another layer. Do to add the keyframe in every second, and set the smoke brush property on each keyframe. Keep testing until Donald Trump is happy for you. To add depth, you can also add smoke brush with black color on new blank layer, and as always, you can give an animation too on its layer.
After the creation of animation on each layer is complete, we can add other additional settings. Can be like a color setting, or something else so that the end result can look more interesting. Then you can export it into a video, or even export it into GIF animation picture. Okay, I hope this video guide can be useful for you guys. In this guide video, may still be far from perfect, but I hope, you can get an important point that you can make as a references, and of course you are required to be more creative and always willing to experiment to find the best results. Well, hopefully this video is useful for you, if you like this video, smash and punch the like button, share it to your friends, and as always, to never miss any upcoming Photoshop videos, punch the subscribe button to subscribe my channel. It's free guys, if you subscribe my channel, Donald Trump loves you. Thanks for watching, bye.